Drivers, beware. There have been hundreds of crashes in the Richmond area since the snowstorm began this afternoon. And as it continues to fall, it gets more dangerous out there. John Roquette is live above Interstate 95 with that part of our coverage. John? Candace, really one of the positives throughout this storm this afternoon is as night fell, there were less cars on the roadway and people were adhering to speed limits going less than 20, uh, 20 miles per hour less than the posted speed limit. On 95 here, the one thing we saw people are getting to tricky spots is there are grooves on 95. If some of these cars without four wheel drive got stuck in the grooves, you saw it take them into a median or it would take them into a guardrail. At nightfall, a steady snow blankets central Virginia, causing fender benders on some of our major highways and byways. On 95, a car fire breaks out near the Bryan Park interchange. The snow gets, I don't know, it looks like this deep in the deepest. It's all slushy, so there were a couple times when it slid a little. Earlier Monday afternoon, it wasn't much better. Cars and ditches on Route 10 in Chesterfield, tow trucks working overtime. VDOT says they will plow primary roads and treat interstates first. Crews will work in convoys, rotating 12-hour shifts. I'm from New York, where I had to go to school in snowsuits and everything, so I'm used to this weather. This weather doesn't Not expecting it to be this bad. Trixie Robinson says she will sleep on it and start another journey to New Jersey Tuesday after the morning rush. Hopefully by then the roads will be a little better. Um, there wasn't any major cleanup on the highways, just a lot of salt trucks, which makes it a little, you know, it, it, it's not as easy as people may think. And we wish Miss Robinson safe travels home. I did some checking with Henrico, Richmond, Chesterfield, and Hanover at this hour. They don't have final numbers of accidents. Henrico tells me they're working about a dozen accidents in the county as we speak. Working for you tonight in Richmond, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. Thank you, John. And